What's going on, Walking Dead fans? All right, we just finished up uh, Season 7, Episode 2 of The Walking Dead, and I was very, very fascinated with the way that they had Shiva. I don't know about what everybody else is going to be talking about, but as far as like uh, putting animals and like things of graphical nature into or, like TV shows, it's come a long way. But the episode wasn't all that action-packed. I don't know. Um, well, what... my concern definitely from the first episode when you had an episode that was so violent, so gruesome, you know, tugged at my heartstrings. I couldn't even talk about it for a few days. Oh yeah, you were one of those people that cried about Glenn. Yes, Dine. I did cry. Okay, okay. For a few days, I mourned. Okay. Yes, so, I did. All right. So right now we're looking at uh, King Ezekiel and Shiva. What did you think about Shiva overall? I did you like I, the edition I mean, of it, like based on I the comic like book? The did you like it? Like I don't know the comics. I don't know the comics either, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm as interested to see where we go with this guy who has a tiger and calls himself King. Well, at the I end of it, I already see that. I'm, I'm assuming that the group that he's paying, um, paying food to is Negan's. is Negan's group. Okay. So now I'm, I'm interested to see with this group and Rick's group having a common enemy, what that can mean for them in the future. Okay, but my, my issue is, you know, the when you have such an action-packed first episode, and then you go to this, it was kind of... Well, I, I think it was a little bit more informative. Like, King Ezekiel did confess to Carol that it was mostly mostly acting. He was, a, you know, he did acting prior to this happening. So yeah. he, he just went with it. He had, a, he had a tiger. Everybody in the place, they just wanted somebody to follow. That was the biggest part about it. People need somebody to follow. And I like that he actually confided in her because Carol just wants to go get herself killed. She doesn't really care about life anymore. We all know that. She's doing whatever. But I think the way that he did it and the way that the episode ended with him coming to offer her, what was that? What was that? What's a pomegranate. It? A pomegranate. Somebody, I about to say apricot. Or something like that. Some kind of fruit. But yeah, I, I like the way that it's going, but I didn't think nothing is going to always be consistently violent like that. It's the first, you know what I'm saying? Like they had to get rid of it because that's the way it Not consistently violent, I know. But this one, but, but I, I, and I understand the purpose of it. It just bothers me that Carol's character is taking this turn. You know, she started out being very weak, then she became my favorite character when she just was so strong. You know, she'll bake you cookies and then kill a mother effer right in the same breath without even blinking. Now it's affecting her, she's getting emotional. You have to do what you have to do in this world, and and I don't so, like so the what, way her character is going right. Okay, now. but do you think that like they're gonna the have a turn? Nations in this in do this you, scene, stuff like that. Do, I don't like the way her character is. Do you like like pretty what much she, pretty what much what I'm doing? doing I, I think that it's necessary because of her evolution. I'm gonna tell you why. If she just remained completely violent the way that she was throughout the whole time. I don't know if we. It's sort of like Daryl. She Darryl. wasn't completely it's, violent. She you, was. She was a was savage. No, was she was. She was killing mother. She was able to do what was necessary. No, I understand that, but what, and but, that's what I appreciate and respected about but the what character. I'm, no, I understand exactly now what you're saying. Now she's all emotional again. Like why? So, why? So yes, because she's a woman. That's why I knew you. I knew you were gonna get to that. I knew the, you were gonna get to that. The men characters, they have evolved to the point where they do what they had to get done. And they do what's necessary. No, not Morgan. And then Morgan's a Morgan's a douchebag, and I hate him. I'm gonna get to him in a second. I don't, I don't like his character. I don't like his character. I don't like his character so, either. But he still does what needs to be done, and he's been consistent. No, he tried. Fact, he almost got them killed last season. He did almost get them that's killed. Look, and then he adjusted to do what needed to be done. And that's what I'm saying. And realize his mistakes, uh, but but his overall underlying uh, personality is the same and his belief system is the same where Carol's has changed dramatically from the beginning to the middle to now. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying because she's a lasting character. No character, like, like you used to be mad at Rick. Like, you know, well, we're gonna get back to Morgan in a second, but you used to be mad at Rick because you thought like, you know, he was too soft and stuff like that. But that, he, and that's my point. Yeah, he evolutionized. Rick started out soft and then he started to do what was necessary. Okay, so. He didn't have like another, and he had a little mental breakdown. That's understandable at one point when they were- yeah, Well, your prison. wife dies, you know, that, that usually yeah, has something to do with something. Yeah, you get another kid, you'll know if it's yours, all of that stuff. When it wasn't his. Prison. I don't think it was his. But he still, you saw a gradual progression. This new thing that Carol is on just bothers me. Really, no, no, but like really I said, I'm going to go right into Morgan. Uh, in, this, in this episode right here, it kind of furthered the fact why I hate him. And I want him to die like instantly, like right now when episode episode's not on anymore. The way he walks? The, the way he walks and just his... I don't like what he's doing, but like I said, it's necessary. We're not gonna like everybody, and a lot of things gonna be going on that, you know, like you say you have a problem with certain things, but I think his character right now, he should be a lot more 
um, aggressive with a lot of the things that go on. He shouldn't be in that same mode because, like you said, the time that they're living in right now, you don't got time for it. But the reason that I love Carol, even the way she is right now, because that just shows that she has more potential to break. See, when you break her again, for her to go violent, it's a wrap because she tried. That's what I like about Carol because she tried to go. Yeah, but They're she's gonna also trying for not Rick. to kill when it's no, necessary. No, for Rick and those kids, when everything gets together, if it just happened to be Negan, that's a, that's the common enemy, when it comes down to killing, Carol is gonna be a ruthless mother effort when it comes, to, and she's gonna be something that we've never seen. That's what I like. Him, even if he became violent again, I always hated this guy. He's a douche. This guy, even with his son and the wife and all that stuff when they first met, all that, this guy was always a douchebag to me. I always hated Morgan. Carol, at first, I despised her. Because like you said, she was weak, all that BS. Her husband was beating her, all that kind of crap was going on. Once she became that Carol to just straight murking dudes, that's what it was. But they had to pull back from it because it kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was too much of a dramatic change so fast. And I think the writers are trying to say, she tried. You know, but looking at this main man right here, we already know what's going on with Daryl. You know, uh, Negan has him, and that's one of the ways that they're trying to keep Rick and all those other, you know, all the other cast members uh, at bay to make sure they understand, look, we got your homeboy. What what I want to talk about right now is what's coming forward in episode three, because obviously we didn't see Rick, we didn't see any of this, we didn't see anything after Glenn, and that's so smart. I'm going to tell you why that's smart. Because they can actually get away with keeping their viewership up while you're more feeding from wanting to see Rick, wanting to see stuff by you getting through it, because... At some point, they got to give you the information. And we just learned a lot about King Ezekiel. We understand that he does things because it makes him feel good. So we know that he's going to do the right thing when it comes down to I think that they'll combine. Like you were suggesting, you called it like in the middle of the episode. If it does turn out that it is Negan, somehow, some way, Rick and them will combine. And they're going to have to take Negan out. And King Ezekiel is probably the perfect guy because he's doing it with his heart. He's not like a, you know, like a, a power hungry guy. He's just doing it because he fell into that. And Shiva helped them. Yeah, but I have a problem with any any of these communities that they try to get together that they don't have everyone trained in a military style training at least part of the day. To me, so it, you want to see to, that instead of school. To me, I want to see. You talk about the in the kingdom. You talk about in the kingdom. I want to see the children as early as five prepared for what the world really is. That, so you want to see violence with kids see. killing people? Not violence, I want to see training and more preparation. So you want to see training and killing with little kids killing people? No, okay, I want to up. see more training. That's, to me, that's more so realistic to, okay, that's in this what, type of So like, sort of like 300? Like, like 300 yeah, you got it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, okay, exactly. Okay, gotcha. That's gotcha. what I would... Okay. I would love them to go into one of these kingdoms and yeah, they're planting and having kumbaya sessions and stuff like that. But then everybody's up at 5 a.m. Everybody is training. Everybody is lean and fit and ready to survive. That, to me, would be more realistic. But then, you know, I don't know. Okay, so now, as we as we come to a close, um, we're going to talk more about Carol. Because you already said that you have an issue with her being... I knew you were going to get to that part about her being a woman. But I don't think it's about that. Because a lot of the men... I liked it with the... Because, like, even the, the pastor... You know, the one that has that has Judith right now that promised Rick. Mm -hmm. He's a total wuss. So it's all about, the, it's the evolution of the character. And I think a lot of people, because everybody I talk to about that, that pastor, they all hate him. So I think that they put certain, you know, per, certain characters in there just so you can despise them. Plus the genius right. guy, the genius guy that didn't die, but then they killed Abraham. Like, why wouldn't you kill that guy? What man cries with his hands over his face? Like, if you do that, you're not a man anymore. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you right he now. Just, he no, 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 he listen, listen, listen. Bit more in tune no. With his no, 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 no. He no. could have. As a man, me, you I can't just cry like he that. Could have, that Eugene could have died because his purpose. Good name drop, because I forgot his name. Go ahead. His purpose was he knew how to make bullets from scratch, et cetera, et cetera. He knew how he to lie. Gave, he gave the uh, recipe to someone else. So I thought, all right, he would be a good character to, to take, but they didn't. Okay. So. You know, looking forward, what do you, you know, as we wrap up, what do you expect? Do you expect? I don't know. I foresee, now that I foresee Carol going straight gangster. I don't know. What about you? She's being, I don't know. She's having this mental breakdown, this midlife crisis or something going on. All right. On. I don't know what she's talking about, know. guys. But listen, I'm going to need you guys to leave your comments, your questions. But now and stuff that like Glenn that. is dead, I don't know how much I even care. Okay. So, again, go cry in the corner. But what I'm going to tell you this right now. Guys, leave your questions, guys and gals. Let me, you know, guys should be gals involved, you know, together. But everybody leave their comments. Let me know what you're thinking about it. Do you like, you know, Shiva? Do you like the new King Ezekiel edition? I like Shiva and I like the name. Let me know what you want to hear about. If there's anything else that you guys want to see. I want a tiger. You get it right here at G Myers World. I'll see you guys next time.
One love.